Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson with your Diaspora Confab Roundup. Prime Minister Portia Simpson Miller has told Jamaicans living overseas that the diaspora is key to the country's growth and development. She was speaking in Montego Bay on day one of the Jamaica Diaspora Conference now on. For more, here's our Western Bureau reporter, Janet Silvero. The Prime Minister acknowledged that the recent IMF agreement was not the panacea for the solving of the nation's economic and social problems. She noted that the country's growth and the prosperity agenda was incomplete without the diaspora's involvement. Using the success stories of countries such as Israel, India, Ireland, China and Mauritius, Cynthia Miller said it was possible to harness a global brain bank and talent pool of the Jamaican professionals and skilled workers. Chairman of the conference, Minister of State in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade, Arnaldo Brown, described the ongoing partnership as one that had become more defined and better suited to purpose. From the fifth biennial Jamaica Diaspora Conference in Montego Bay, St. James, I am Janet Silvera. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister's comments came a day after some members of the diaspora raised concern about the way Jamaicans living overseas are treated. I think the government has fallen down for many years on not marketing Jamaica to Jamaicans. As long as the bureaucracy does not prevent us from going forward, as long as the ministers that we are calling on to assist take us seriously and say, walk this journey with us. So we are in there for the long haul. In the meantime, Junior Foreign Affairs Minister Arnaldo Brown says a Diaspora Implementation Council will be established to execute the recommendations from the CONFAB. He also says it's an appropriate time to provide more support to all aspects of the Diaspora. Jamaican-born U.S.-based actress Sherry Lee Ralph warns expatriates to be careful when speaking negatively about Jamaica. She told a session of the conference that all countries have their flaws and Jamaica was no exception. The actress had encouraged members of the diaspora pursuing tertiary studies overseas to conduct the required community service activities within Jamaican communities. Meanwhile, Jamaican U.S. entrepreneur Dr. Jacqueline Watson has charged that the government must lead Jamaica's thrust to capitalize on the lucrative global health tourism market. The CEO of the U.S.-based Health Concepts International says the government should adopt health tourism as an industry. And from the conference floor today, we asked, how important is it to have a diaspora representative in Parliament? More than just sending money, they should be a part of the decision making, the planning and involvement. And I think that's the objective of the conference, not only as investors, but what they can they contribute to Jamaica's development. And I think the time has come. Individuals overseas have a lot of contribution to Jamaica. They're very proud of their heritage, are very proud of what goes on. And by having a representative there, they will be able to convey their voice. It is important at some point. And I say that because at this point in question, we are not there yet. I think as the diaspora grows and becomes more sophisticated in the whole operations and management in this country based on our investments, that is something to work towards. I guess that's where most decisions are made. And that person should be able to be in dialogue with the diasporans and hopefully represent us well. And that's it for today's roundup of events on day two of the fifth biennial Jamaica Diaspora Conference in Montego Bay, St. James. Join us again tomorrow. I'm Joven Johnson.